Hello, boys, girls, and peace. I'm Zimpai, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be learning about BTS. Maybe this is like a new series, you know, like learning about BTS, where I can watch, you know, different guides and videos about uh, BTS members and about them as a group, and, and you start learning about them because um, I've I've listened to, um, you know, my last videos, I listened to a couple of songs and um, a lot of you guys in the comments recommending to me to check out this video called A Guide to BTS the mem the guide okay guide to BTS members the Bantan Seven what is 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 that like a the is that what you do call them is that just like another name for them um Ban I'm sorry I hope I'm pronouncing that right Bantan Seven um but yes yeah, so um we're going to be checking out yeah this video for today um learning about all seven of the members of uh BTS yeah I hope that you guys do end up enjoying this video if you do please do consider liking and subscribing and joining community channel this channel let me know in the comments down below if there's any other like guides um like you know um documentaries and stuff that you could um recommend to me that we check out also to learn more about um BTS also but yeah for today we're gonna be learning about all seven members of our BTS so yeah that's really cool I definitely uh, do want to uh, learn more about the members Information's accurate as of May 2022. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yo, she did a D like a backflip down. BTS is a group of three rappers and four vocalists from South Korea known for their stage performances, lyricism, real, and love for their fans called ARMY. Oh? Okay, so they're known for their lyricism also. Wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. So, um, so I'm I guessing that um, they are known for having like a um, meaningful like lyricism in their songs. That's, that's really cool. And the fans are called ARMY. Is there a specific reason why it's called armies, which also just like it's just a fan name? Because I know sometimes um fan names can sometimes like have a meaning to it, like it can it can mean something to the group, um or it could just you know it could just be like a name. Together they've won over seven hundred awards, including Artist of the Year at the twenty twenty one American Music Awards and twelve. Billboard Music Awards, wow. Oh, 700 awards! Damn, wow. BTS is the fastest accumulation of num six number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100 since the Beatles in the 1960s. Wow, wow, wow. That's insane. So what is it? Oh, Butter and um, Dynamite. Oh, okay, let's see. Where's this? So there's Dynamite, Life Goes On, I think that's a, yeah, there's a BTS song. Is, per is Permission to Dance a BTS song? In 2016, BTS were the first artists outside the big three K-pop companies to win the Artist of the Year. They sang, oh, sorry, the grand prize of the MAMA Awards. What is the big, what is the big three K-pop companies? I'm not, I'm not sure what, the, what those companies are. Oh wow, aww. Three years later, they were the first to achieve a sweep at the MMAs and MM, wait, MAMAs, taking home all four grand prizes at both shows. Wow, that's insane. This is what is one everything, damn. What, they just like, they get, they get up? Whereas, like, they get up, they get the award, they sit back, that's like, okay, BTS again, come back on stage, it's like, that. You know, just, they're like, so every, every reward they just get back up, they get on the stage, they do a speech, they come back and sit down, and they just, just winks and repeat. Their rewards even go beyond music. Wow. In 2018, they became the youngest representatives of the 
Hegan Order of Cultural Merit Medal awarded by the Korean government for promoting Korean culture and language across the world. Oh wow! So they were like innovative and not just like music culture, but like um world culture as well in the sense of like Korean culture and showing yeah showing the world like Korean and like the Korean language. In 2021, South Korean President Moon. Jun Ing, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, held an official ceremony appointing them as special presidential envies. He and he granted them diplomatic passports ahead of their third speech at the UN General Assembly. In 2022, BTS were invited to the White House to speak about anti-Asian hate crime and Asian inclusion. Wow, wow. Oh, and they actually um talked to Biden, to Joe Biden too. Wow, wow, that's what that's amazing. So they're they're very like so they're, they're also like activists for like um not j like for for Asian culture and for like Asian people in general. That's amazing. Wow, I don't think like I don't think I've like like seen like a lot of groups really like doing that. And I think that's really cool because it shows that they you know they care for a lot of things. I think that's really awesome. They. S their success may seem overwhelming, but it wasn't always like this. They really worked it really hard to get where they are, right? On June 13th, 2023, BTS debuted under Big Hit Entertainment, a small company in the big world of K-pop. Wow. The group was found by Ban Seal Hilk. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Founder and now chairman of Hubi, formerly Big Hit Entertainment. I, yeah, once again, I'm really sorry if I mispronounce the names. I'm not, yeah, I, I don't speak Korean, so I'm tr I'm trying my best. Oh, so, so, okay, so he's, so he's the founder? So he's the founder of BTS? This, yeah, this guy in the middle. Hey, that's respect, that's respect, that's respect right there. And I think I think that's true because it seems like um, BTS has a really big like you know the realism and um, like I feel like in the, in some of their songs like also because I said a big aspect of it is realism. I feel like a lot of like ma manufactured groups because I think that's a I think that's a thing with like um, probably also sometimes with um, with you know um, K-pop. And like you J-pop groups as well, like idol groups, they are manufactured. But I think like you know, like Western groups as well, they, they, they don't write their own lyrics. It's very like manufactured. It's very like you know, they they manufacture the group in a way for success. So it's very it can feel like robotic in a sense because it's like they are that they are making these, you know, they, they, they pick up these members and they audition to join a group and then it's very like, you know, it's very manufactured in the founders' point of view, like in, in their, in their life, because they're made just for success. And I think that in the sense of giving the members that are, like, BTS their own freedom, it makes it more, you know, it makes it more coming, it makes, well, it gives it a sense of, like, I think, realism, in a sense, because it's, it's truly the relics and the songs are really coming from them, so it, it has a sense of, like, um, what is, like, originality, or a sense of, like, um, s I don't know what the word is, but, like, you know, it, it, it really comes from them, it, it genuine, a genuine feeling. The company struggled financially doing, wait, oh, uh, sorry, uh, the finite, the, their company struggled financially during the early years of their debut. So they live in like a dorm together. All seven members shared one bedroom in their small dorm. One bedroom? Oh my god, this looks like a child's room. Wait, so okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So where's the other beds? What? Wow. They were made fun of 
for their name. Ba bang, Bangtan, Sunny, Eo. O Eodun, I'm, I'm sorry, bought proof Boy Scouts and held minimal opportunities to perform due to the little influence their company held on shows, when had on shows. Despite receiving little airtime and being cut from board class, BTS found their, their own ways to connect with their fans. They would film YouTube vlogs showing their thoughts, daily schedule and updates on their lives. Oh wow, that's really cool. And post Bantan bombs featuring the members behind the scenes. I think that's really, I think that's a really uh, good thing to do because I feel like it, because I feel like doing that gives a sense of like, it, 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 you know, connection with the fan base. They were often looked down on and mistreated by show hosts. Oh, ah! So they began creating more of their own content. Oh, wow! One BTS is their own variety show where they do challenges and play games. That's cool. Well, that's cool. Wait, that's actually really cool. <laughs> they also release yearly specials like. Bon Voyage, and in the soup, soap, soap I, I, which follows the members on trips and s staycations. I think, I think that works in the sense of like it gives them. I think it, it that like because I think a lot of groups don't do stuff like that because I feel like um it it gives like a sense of like connection. You know what I mean? Because it's like with artists, sometimes you only know the artists. For their music, you know what I mean, and and you don't get that like personal connection of like knowing them as people, and I feel like in a sense like these series gives like an extra connection to I think you and the members. It's like oh well now I get the you see all these shows that they do like you get to see them behind the scenes, and it's more authentic because it's like them actually doing it themselves because they're a smaller company because you know like you know it's not like a netflix documentary where it's like just people like filming them it's more like they're filming it themselves and they're like actually documenting their things themselves so i feel like that gives it an extra sense of like authenticity if that makes sense and i think like also it's like yeah i feel like this is a this is like a way to really like connect with the fans i feel like a lot of groups don't do and I think it gives a sense of like it feels genuine, which I think is it's cool. And it's, it's I mean that's interesting. They do lives to celebrate concerts, achievements, birthdays, etc. with fans. Especially during the pandemic, BTS found ways to entertain and stay connected with Army. They even held multiple record-breaking online concerts. Wow. One point. 3 million paid online viewers. Watch, holy shit. BTS music includes a wide range of gens. Pop, Way of Love, Hip Hop. Ah! 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 Yeah. Sorry. P Pop, Boy with Love, Hip Hop, Tear, EDM, Best of Me, RB. Hmm. Latin Pop. Latin Pop. Oh. Airplane Part 2. Ballad, The Truth Untold, while singing about uncommon topics in K-pop like social justice, mental health, social expectations, and self-love, ARMY began to grow. Wow. So they're hitting like heavy topics. Oh wow. You must be wondering about the numbers behind all this success. It all starts with Kim Nam Jun. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay, so it's like Arms, oh, like the stage name, and and Kim is like his actual name. Okay, yeah. Leader, main rapper, composer, songwriter, producer. I, I hope I don't mispronounce their names. I'm, I'm sorry if I do. 
Okay. At 13 years old, he became active as an underground rapper and was well known in the community by the name Ranch Ronda. Wait, that's insane. 13? He's performing on stage? After his performance caught the attention of hip hop artist Sleepy, he was encouraged to audition for Big Hit, where he was signed as the first member of BTS. Oh, he's. Oh, wow, he's the first member that they signed. Oh, wow. He debuted with the stage name Rap Monster, but now it goes by RM. Rap Monster. <laughs> As the leader of BTS, he communicates with the company and helps guide and motivate his team. Wow. When he's not in professional leader mode, he adds to BTS chaotic energy. <laughs> Though dangerous in the kitchen and nonchalantly clumsy, and notoriously clumsy, I can't, I can't read. He is extremely intelligent with a 148 IQ. Wow, okay, damn. He's, ta he, he's talented and smart, like... Along with the other members, he can speak Japanese well, however, he is the only member fluent in English. Oh, he's fluent in English, wow! So he's bilingual? The others are studying English and often come to him for help applying for interviews. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I catch choice. Oh, I can't choose. I can't choose. You know? No, I can't choose it. I can't choose it. Okay. I can't choose it. Okay. I am is one of the main songwriters in BTS and is known for his moving lyrics and I, I, elegant speeches. <laughs> He's released two solo mixtapes along with various collaborations. Lil Nos X, Honey Ta Tiger, JK. Oh, he's Damn. Okay, damn. His second mixtape holds the record for the album with the most iTunes number ones? Wow. Oh, it's got like a mix of like, yeah, Korean and English. As of May 2022, is the second and youngest idol with the most song copyrights in South Korea. 187 credits, oh my god. He often lived to tell ARMY about the process of album making and his inspiration behind his songs, uh, its songs. He has a deep love for art, reading, and nature. He likes to bike and work out during his free time. Wow. S Suga? Yeah, I mean, is it Suga, aka August D? August D? Min Yonggi, rapper, producer, songwriter, composer. I, 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 so, so I do apologize, like, mispronounce anybody's names. Wow, this video is really cool. 
At age 13, Sago began rapping and songwriting against his parents' approval. That's crazy, 13? He performed as an underground rapper by the name Gloss with his hip-hop crew T-Town. He auditioned for Big Hit after discovering their rap competition called Big Hit It, where he placed second. His talent did not go unnoticed and he was signed to Big Hit Entertainment, eventually becoming the second member of BTS. So how long were they a part of this, a part of, um, Big Hit Entertainment before they got signed to BTS? What, 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 what age was, actually what age did them? Because like, if BTS was 2013, that means they were pretty young then. Yeah, because it's, because, um, he was born in 19, like, he was pretty young, like, he chose the stage name Suga because of his favorite position in basketball, shooting guard. Going from underground rap to idol group, RM and Suga received a lot of. Ah. Ah, ah. We see a lot of backlash. Sugar, the Sultan. Sultan, the Red Panel, she is the. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 Why does that matter? Why does that- why would that even matter anyway? It's like, oh, what, you wear makeup on stage? Oh, you're like a girl! It's, isn't that like- but isn't that like literally, I swear, like, years of like, in acting, right? Men wear makeup in acting, and I think like, you know, um, singing and rapping and performing is like, you know, it's a performance, right? I still think that's like a- you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, like, years and years of, like, um, acting, you know, like, act, you know, acting in movies and TV shows, they wear makeup, so I, I don't know what this, this person's on. It's like, come on, in his first solo mixtape, he responds to those who look down on him. The music videos are so cool, though. For his two solo mixtapes, he goes by August D or August, is it August or August D? Suka backwards plus D T. Wow, oh my god, look at the visuals of this music video. This was the most streamed Korean so male solo artist on Spotify in 2020-2021. I think it shows, like, the fan base is really, like, dedicated in the sense of, like, if um somebody does a solo project, the, the army, like, really supports them in that. Because I, cause I think, because sometimes with, like, groups, um... You kind of see in groups when somebody does like a solo project. Cause sometimes the sad thing of groups is that sometimes there is one person who's in the spotlight, and then the other members they don't really care about as much. Cause that's why you kind of see how all the groups and they break up. There's like the one who has that solo career success, and the others kind of just like fall off and just disappear because. That, because a lot of the time in these ma in this manufactured you know these ma manufactured kind of groups they have one member in the forefront and then they have the others kind of in a way backing up the main person in the group I feel like because BTS I feel like that that they, they they feel a lot like a group in the sense of like I don't feel like there is like one specific like member at the front or like other members are kind of like not as appreciated, I feel like they are as a collect. They're really like a collective, and I feel like really one as a group. And I feel like they all get, you know, their own t 
time to shine. And I think that's really, I think that's really cool. In focus, that's what a group should be. In 2018, Suka became the first in BTS to become a full member of the Korean Music Copyright Association. 136 plus credits. Wow. Out of the members, he is the main producer and has even won awards as a producer for other artists. Wow. So it's, it's, it's like it's not even things like just in their group, it's like outside too. Although he intentionally only in, own, in, uh, he, he, to only wanted to be a rapper such a producer, he now enjoys life in BTS despite the dancing he was hoping to avoid. Well that's really cool, like he, he went out of a, his comfort zone. <laughs> Uh, I, I, that's a pretty good future. As a songwriter, he's known for his honest and raw lyrics. He openly writes about his past struggles with, with depression, OCD, and social anxiety. Wow, wow, that's wow, that's wow, that's really be powerful. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just like giving, yeah, like it's motivational to people. It's kind of, I think it's, it's, it's kind of nice. I feel like, um, just this that sample of it, it feels like it, it was genuine in the sense of like he's speaking through his own experiences to people, like it's coming from, um, you know, it's coming from self experience like oh you i've been through that before like i understand what it's like to you know feel lost or have struggles like being you know depression or struggling with mental health you know it feels like really genuine i feel like he sometimes misinterpreted as cold as he's often quiet and struggles with showing affection It's not his appearance, but his personality. Whenever he can't do things because it's embarrassing, it's cute. Like when he wants to say something touching to us but can't express it well. He's a sundule. <laughs> he likes to read, work out, cook, and learn new instruments. How many instruments does he know? He goes live to give army conf comforting words and advice. <laughs> J Hope, rapper, main dancer, and dance leader, composer, songwriter, producer. <laughs> At 10 years old, 10, he began taking lessons at Dance Academy where he was the youngest to join a street dancing crew named uh, Neon. Ni Ni Before debut, he won numerous awards for his dance, including first place at the 2008 national competition. Wow. With his well-known dancing skills, he auditioned for Big Hit, eventually becoming the third member of BTS.
As dance leader, he learns the choreography quickly, then guides the other members during practice and performance. Wow, let He becomes serious and de detailed when it comes to dance, which is a big reason why BTS stages are so well done. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, like, there's, there's like, the dancing's so, like, uh, it's really, like, high energy and quite, like, high, uh, the choreography's really high, it's just a like, high quality, I don't know what the, what would you, what would you say, but, yeah, it's like, props to him. Like the choreography seems really hard. Like it's not, it's not easy choreography. On V Live, he he sometimes does tote on the street where he practices his freestyle dancing. Is V Live just like a Korean streaming site or something? He learned rap as a trainee, he practiced with RM and Suga in the dorms and eventually developed his own style. Wow. Though he's mainly a rapper, he also contributes vocals in some songs. Oh, so I see, so he, so he got like, so he got, I guess he got signed mainly as a dancer and then he learnt, he, then he learnt to rap and to, well, I guess, it, not, not that he couldn't rap or sing at all, but, like, his, his strengths is within his dancing, and that was, like, a big contributor as to why he got added to the group, but then later on he, yeah, he, he worked on his rapping and his singing more, with the help of the other members, with Suga and RM, okay, I see, well, with the rapping aspect. As a full member of the Korean Copyright Association, he writes slash produce songs for BTS as well as for his own projects. In, in his 2018 story mixtape, he sings about his identity and becoming a piece of peace for everyone. Hope World. He's the K-pop soloist with the highest number of Spotify followers, 10 million plus, wow. Sing of a choir? Wow. In the Pandora's box myth, a box filled with evil was unleashed to the world and the only thing left was hope. J-Hope wants to represent the remaining hope for ARMY and his members. He lives up to his name for his bright and cheerful personality. Oh, so that's why he's called J-Hope, because he gives hope to people and to the members. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. He's known as, like, J-Hope. Oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. Because he's, like, he's, like, cheerful. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. That makes sense. So he, he's known as J-Hope because he's... Because he brings hope to people with his cheerful personality. <laughs> The members often cling to him for good energy and strength. But it's a true friend right there. He loves fashion, art, and photography. Oh, Snoopy! Snoopy! He has a fear of bugs, rides, and noises, heights, snakes, and many other things. Damn. Okay, well that, I mean, to be fair, that that is kind of fucking scary. Okay, to be fair, you don't even have that a fear of to like flinch from that. Oh my god! What was that? Like a fly or something? Jin, vocalist. Visual composer, songwriter, producer. J 
Jin. Jin. 학교를 등교하고 있었는데 어. 그 제가 버스를 타고 이제 내리는 딱그 타이밍이었는데 네. 제가 이 멀리서 봐도 잘 생겼잖아요. 그러니까 어, 사실 그건 맞아요. 네. 어, 맞아 맞아. 버스 내리는데 그분이 이렇게 내리는 쪽으로 오셔가지고 저를 붙잡고 음. 와. 전 태어나서 당신 같은 얼굴 처음 봤어요. Why is the table so small? Why Why is the table so tiny? 아 진짜? 네. 아, 아 제발 저희 회사에. Wow. I I wish that would happen to me. You You You're so good looking. Then just like, hey, you're fucking gorgeous. Join our agency right now. It's like a damn. It's like, yo. Like what? I'm like what? Yo what? Well, okay, shit, so damn. Imagine. I mean, I'm not. I'm not that good looking. Fuck. I, I wish. I wish that happened to me. That's like. He joined Big Hit, where he learned to sing and dance a trainee before becoming the fourth member of BTS. So wait, did he have any prior experience, or was it literally just this? She literally just like picked him off from the from the street because of his looks. Maybe. Maybe it's just like maybe. She was like, oh, she can like picture him, maybe, you know, because I, because I feel like these like, you know, um, th these um people who like, you know, get talents, they do have an eye for things, you know. Maybe they like, she like, w she, from the way he looked, she like, she could picture him in the group, like he he fitted with the other boys. I mean, I'm I'm guessing maybe that's what that's what it was like. She like, she just she just saw a vision when she looked at him, you know. <laughs> He joined Big Hit where he learned to sing and dance a trainee before becoming the fourth member of BTS. At the same time, he continued attending university and was the first of the members to graduate in 2017. Now all members have bachelor's degrees and are pursuing their masters. Oh wow, that's actually well, that's actually really cool. And, um, I really, I think that's really, um, I think that's cool that like, um, despite being in the group. They let them um continue to go to school and to go to university because because a lot of the times I feel like with groups and stuff like, like um pursuing like a career like this most of the time people drop out of university to pursue it you know what I mean like to be like an artist or a singer most of the time they would tell you oh to fully commit to this you have to drop out of school. You know, or like, oh, what's the point of God continuing to go to school because, you know, oh, like, because, you know, in a group now. But, but it seems like they were still, like, given, like, oh, it's okay, it's okay to continue to, to finish school. So I think that's, I think that's, that's, I think that's, that's cool. I mean, that's nice of them to do because I think that's, school is important, you know. As a theatre and film major and visual of BTS, Jin plays the main character in the fictional storyline that runs through BTS albums. But so it really, so yeah, so it really does um, like yo know, say the fact that there, there is like a narrative and there's a real story that they portray in their songs. Like there's a meaning and there's realism, but not just in the lyrics, but there's also story through the music videos as well, which I think is really, um, cool. Because of his powerful vocals and falsetto, critics often refer to him as Silver Voice. Silver Voice? Wow, he has a beautiful voice. He self-produces songs for SoundCloud as gifts for fans and as solo songs within BTS albums. Oh my god! Yeah, chill. What the hell? What the hell is he wearing? His song, his solo song "Moon" and BTS album ranked number five in Ro Rolling Stones magazine's greatest boy band songs of all time. Number jeez, number five of all time. Damn, because it's impressive. Because it's like you know, of all time. So it means you of all time. Meaning you know, and I don't think, and I think this BTS song probably. Is within obviously it's within the last ten years and compelling that to obviously like years and years and years of songs from like boy bands, you know, of all time. Obviously, it's like that's very impressive. You know, fighting like against songs of, like years of legacy. He 
he sung yours for the drama. Gia Sun, I'm sorry, which became his second OST to reach 100 iTunes number ones. That's imp like a, it's an OST. That's impressive. Like. My fans. Oh, what my handsome! Enjoy it, enjoy it. Yeah, I'm enjoy. He enjoy yeah, being called handsome. Yeah, hello. Jin's visuals have gotten him viral attention on multiple occasions. He was the car door guy at the 2015 MMAs, then third guy from the left at the 2017 BBMAs, and front door guy in 2021. Front door guy? He now jokingly uses the nickname WWH for Worldwide Handsome. Worldwide Handsome. Like, Jin is the oldest young Toya from the boy, yeah. In Korea, age often determines him being, yeah, being the oldest comes with expectations of authority and respect, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I do know that in, um, in, in Korean culture, it's like, um, yeah, you, it's like you're, like, um, the old, older, older people, it's like, yeah, like, authority and it's like, respect, you know, you respect your elders. <laughs> and then, like, big, and people older than you are, like, big, known as, like, big brothers and big sisters. But Jin doesn't use this power much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I don't know. 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 I do that's, that's definitely a skill you need, so... Don't want i Jin likes to live life by going with the flow and would do anything to make others smile. They seem very positive, which is nice. He sometimes goes live to eat Jin where he eats and talks about arms. It's like a muck like a mukbang? Like a mukbang? I guess, right? Jim loves gaming and fishing. What is he playing? What is he playing now? Let's see. Is it it's a it's, it's like Fortnite? Is he playing I I think it, it might be Fortnite? It's quite blurry. I I can't really tell. He loves gaming and or fishing. He even released a fishing song for fun on his birthday, accidentally creating a viral dance challenge. Well, it does seem like a simple dance, so it seems like a TikTok. It seems like it does. That does seem like something that could happen on a TikTok, because it's like a, it's a simple dance, you know. So like, most people can do it, obviously. Jun Cook. John Cook. Yeah, once again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Main vocal dancer, composer, songwriter, producer. So he's the, he's the youngest so far. 1997. In 2011, audition for Superstar Kate 
great. It's like, it's not like a... It's like a TV show or something? He didn't make it through but was later contacted by seven different agencies. Wow. Wait, what? Wait, so wait, he didn't make it through the audition? But people- oh, that's- that, that's weird though. So, wait, how do you not make it through the audition if people were genuinely- so many companies after was mainly interested in him? Although there were big companies among the seven, he chose small big hit because of one person. R.M. <laughs> that, that's 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 nice. It's like he you know he followed his heart. You know he he picked the company that felt right because you know. Not it's you know all, not always the biggest companies mean success because you know when you think about a small company can have potential you know doesn't necessarily mean that um that you know a big company you know, obviously a big company can mean more short term success but a, a a small company it's not guaranteed to like be successful there's always potential for success you know what i mean and i think being in a small company also i think can give you more freedom in some aspects too so you know it, it you can build a, a you, you know it, it's a place where you can come and it, you can build upon it if that makes sense till this day arm is one of his biggest role models <laughs> Fifteen-year-old Jung Cook was shy and missed home, but the members looked after him like their own little brother. Wait, so wait, how old were they when they started? The members attended both his high school entrance and graduation ceremonies. <laughs> Expresses his deep love for his brothers in his solo song, The Dance The Gun. Aww. He is the main vocalist, one of the lead dancers, and even a rap beat. What? Well, okay, okay. What can he not do? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a vocalist. I'm a dad. I'm the, the lead dancer too, and I can fucking rap. Also, what the hell? What can he not do? It's like that. Okay. It's like this is the two talented. It's like. Can I have some? Can, can I have a sprinkle of that talent? <laughs> no, actually, what's not? Okay, what I was just saying is it's not. I wouldn't say it's like it's just talent. It's also hard work, right? Let's say this. It's not. It's like I think to some extent you can say talent, but the same. Yeah, like I mean, obvi obviously, it's like it's. I don't. I, I feel like people just like. It's like, oh, you're just, you're just talented, but it's just like, um, also I feel like it's, it is hard work. It is like, I think it's putting, putting yourself in a place where you have the opportunity to learn those skills. Cause you know, you have, um, you know, you're in a, f a facility where you can be, ta you know, you can be taught how to sing, how to dance, obviously. So I think it's like, you know, it's just like, it, you have to put the hard work in, you know, um, and obviously, they have years of hard work, they put it in. Jungkook? Jungkook? 
Jungkook writes and produces songs for BTS albums and three songs for SoundCloud as gifts for ARMY. His BTS album Souls, Euphoria and My Time have spent 80 plus weeks on Billboard's World Digital Song Sales chart. Wow. Also like a solo performance. Wow. He also s sings BTS webtoon. That's a web webtoon? Track Stay Alive. Pitsuka, which was the fastest Korean OST to reach 100 million streams on Spotify. He is nicknamed Golden. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. Youngest because of his talent in many fields. He can <laughs> paint <laughs> too? <laughs> Down. He likes boxing, working out, learning new instruments. Boxing, damn. He has an interest in filming and video editing. He creates videos of his trips and call them Golden Closest Films. Closet Films. In 2020, he directed their life goes on music video. Oh wow. Jung Cook has a deep love for ARMY and his members and is sensitive when it comes to them. Slightly fearful is immense physical strength. Yeah, that those look fucking scary. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with him. <laughs> He often goes live to sing and talk with ARMY. He takes song requests and put on many concerts in his studio. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, he dropped the mic. V. Vocalist, dancer, composer, producer, songwriter. V, is it true that you never actually intended on auditioning for BTS? You just went to the audition to support your friend. True. What? Yes. I, I kind of feel bad for the friend. Honestly, I, I don't know. So he, so when his friend is like, "Oh, hey, man, you know, we kind of want you. We don't want the friend." No, that's like. <laughs> I mean, it's why not? Why not? If they ask you. What happened to one of his poor dad? I feel kind of bad for the poor friend. Although he wasn't the last to join, he was the last to be known by fans. He was hidden until their debut. 
6명 그룹일 줄 알았던 방탄이 7명이 As a vocalist, V is known for his baritone voice and vocal range. Like the other members, he has also he has solo songs within BTS albums, but also takes part in writing and producing songs for his own pro his own projects. It's cool that they, it's cool that they all have solo projects as well. Oh my god, okay. Along with Jun, he sung It's Definitely You for the drama, which has also he, he also acted in it. Whoa. His song Sweet Night for the drama Itawan Class holds the record for the most number one in iTunes history. What the holy shit? I think it shows that how good of like musicians and artists they actually are because it's like they are finding success on their own outside of outside of the group but also in projects that you wouldn't necessarily think that would be major hits because I wouldn't necessarily think an, like an OST in a drama would like blow up you know what I mean and I feel like that just shows like the quality of the song. Christmas Tree for the drama Our, Our Beloved Summer became the highest charting Korean OST on the Billboard Hot 100. Yeah, because they're like OSTs, most of the time they're not gonna like, they're not gonna blow up, right? Like, not gonna. OSTs aren't like super successful like that. After his 2018 performance of. Sung Yue. Sun, sun sincerity. I'm sorry. He was officially recognized as part of the dance line, joining J Hope, Hope Jungkook, and Jin Min. Dance line. On stage, V is known for his captivating visuals and expressions. I, I don't. Purple's in the rainbow? Is purple in the rainbow? Maybe it is. I, I'm too. I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't have an IQ of 148, like RM. I'm dumb as fuck. Was it, was it RM? I think it was RM who had the, the high IQ, right? BTS and ARMY's colour is now purple, and you'll often hear the terms, I purple you, and boa hey. Um, he likes to do lives called... I'm, I'm sorry, where he shares his favourite songs with fans. Hmm. He enjoys abstract art, gaming, and photography. Yo, what game? What games do you play, man? V, because of his love for jazz music, he has practiced the trumpet and saxophone. Well, you did say he pulled out the saxophone for the audition, didn't he? 처음 봤을 때는 굉장히 독특하고 장난기가 많고 어디로 튈지 모르는 어떻게 보면은 우리 중에 가장 사람. I don't even know what like what the. Like the chances of that, because I feel like you, if you just like, I feel like most of the time it's like, you know, you go to an audition and you see their friend like, you know, chill, like supporting the other friend in the audition. I don't think that's gonna be like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm also a, uh, yo, do you want to audition too? Yeah, I'm also a singer, a dancer, a saxophone player. Most of the time they're not, because they're just supporting their friend. You know, most of the time they wouldn't be a singer, you know, right? They wouldn't be like an artist themselves. I feel like. You know, so what the chances of what is the chances of that? His he's very expressive and has a unique perspective on life. Ah, uh, 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 u
He acts spontaneously and easily befriends everyone around him. <laughs> Jinmin. Is it Jinmin? Okay, the only thing prior that I I knew about like Jinmin is Oli London. I just want to know: Do do do, do Army like Oli London? I would hope you wouldn't like Oli London because I, I hope so. I just genuine genuine quest genuine question like though: Do BTS fans like Oli London? I I would hope not. I, 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 I would hope they don't like Oli London. Cause it's cause oh, cause it's kinda weird, you know, um the whole Oli London thing about like wanting to like become Jin Min. I think that's like, you know kinda crazy. I hope I hope there's not I hope there's not army like that who give like plastic surgery to like become become like BTS. Like, I'm sorry. At that point you need like mental health, like health at that point. Like you are who invested if you are getting to the point where you want to like change your appearance with plastic surgery like what do we become like a bts mode like that that's too far all right but like that's not that's not their message the message is supposed to be self-love right that, that's not self-love that's trying to become somebody that you're not which is the exact i think it's like opposite of what self-love is that's the message they're trying to convey to you you know like you're right like some of their songs like you're meant to it's it's meant to send you self-love not wanting to become them you can be inspired but not like literally look ident wanting to look identical to them before debut jimin was a top student in Con con contemporary dance at the Busan High School of Arts. Busan High School of Arts, wow. Jinmin also learned hip hop dancing and would take part in dance battles at 15 years old. Because of his skills, his dance instructor encouraged him to audition for Big Hit. With the shortest training period, he became the final member of BTS in 2012. Jinmin has a Diversity, high and delicate but powerful voice. Wow. Mm. Like the other members, he releases self-produced songs on SoundCloud in addition to singing solos on BTS albums. Damn. He also track Promise is now the most streamed SoundCloud song of all time, with over 300 million streams. Wow. Holy shit. Jinmin and V's duet Friends, co-written slash produced by Jinmin, was, fe was featured in the Marvel movie. What? They were in Marvel? That's insane! Wow, they're in a Marvel movie? Wow, their song was them. That's actually, that's really, wow, that's really impressive. Wow. The OST with you sung by Jin Min. Ha Sun Wong became the fastest song to reach 100 number ones on iTunes. We're number one on iTunes. 
100 number ones on iTunes, wow. As one of the main dances, he often utilizes his background in com content like com com like I can't work I'm sorry, I can't I can't speak. Dance to make BTS performances even more unique. This is behind the scenes like a music video. Is this is this one of the ones I saw? I think it's I think wait, is this the Black Swan music video? I think it's the one I saw. Maybe it's not, I, I I don't know. Why is your blindfold on? Can he dance blindfolded? Maybe. When he's not doing intense performances, Jinmin is very cute, affectionate, and playful. <laughs> Oh, damn, bro. Cutie, sexy, lovely, sweet guy. Cutie, sexy, lovely, sweet guy. Damn. Am I more number one? No, He's caring and is often the first to comfort members when they're down. Jimin trained for over eight years in several martial arts, including kendo and taekwondo. Black belt. It's a black belt in taekwondo. Damn. I I I've done. I did taekwondo for a little bit, but damn, black belt shit. He likes to travel, collect Polaroids, work out, watch Netflix during his free time. It's like a travel vlog. He goes live to hang out with ARMY and shares stories about his daily life. He sometimes gets shy by himself, so he blames <laughs> other members to join him. Oh, 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 우리 멤버들이 저 도와주고 이끌어주고 해서 되게 여기까지 올수 있었고 되게 멤버들이랑 함께하면서 되게 행복하다고 느꼈고 우리 멤버들 진짜 멋있어요 진짜 여러분 방탄 멋있죠? And lastly, army. Oh, oh, I was I was gonna say wait, isn't that all the members? The BTS ARMY fan chant starts with the leader and follows to the oldest to youngest. Actually, mm. a lot of BTS always makes sure to mention ARMY, even crediting them with more success than themselves. Well, I'm very about this, but it's very simple. There's 100% of success. And I put, I'll give 50, I'll give half to the armies. We put like 5% each, like 5% value, so that's 35. And I give 50, 15% to the Highland Bicket. If it's a trophy, my, you know, my percent is like five. I always um, try to realize that uh, for myself, and it really helps me um, keep myself down to earth and i think it's really important to survive in this crazy industry mm. uh, that's 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 sweet though it's, it seems like they they that they have you know it's like i feel like a lot of um in in the sense of like that being humble i guess you know it's like the hu humbleness keeps you genuine so i like a lot of the people in the industry you know you you can it, it can take over you if that makes sense and you can kind of start to like some some artists do okay genuinely they do start to kind of come a bit 
egotistical or like a bit like I'm better than you, I'm better than the fans, you know, and I think like that makes them stay kind of humble. But in, in a sense, I would say like, I feel like you should give yourself a bit more credit because it's like, well, if 50% is army, you're the ones who built up the army inherently, right? Because you starting with you being in the group is what built up the army to exist in the first place, if that makes sense. So I would say that you have a bit more of a contributing factor to that, right? BTS can continuously face hatred, racism, and xenophobia, but still only share positive energy with army and the world. Yo, fuck, th fuck those idiots. Why the fuck are you being z- Why? 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 Why are you fucking being racist and xenophobic? I mean, I guess it's like in general, but just, just dumb, dumb fucks, okay? Come on, okay? Why? Army is made up of people from all over the world and of all ages. Their lyrics and videos often inspire and comfort those who are lonely or facing their own struggles. Well, I think that's what music really does, I think, you know? That's why music can be very really powerful and, and lyrics can be very really powerful too, you know? What is this animation? What is- what is happening here? the hell? I don't- I don't know if I would want, um, tiny BTS members to jump out at- jump out at me, I don't know. Like, they're like, they're like chibis, they're kind of cute. Wow, the harmonies are really amazing. Army is known to be very active, powerful, organized, and extremely protective of BTS. What is happening in this video? I'm like, what is happening in this animation? I'm like, well, damn, go, 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 go to the sky. Yeah, go, go to the sky. It's like, damn, okay. BTS has been the leader of Billboard Social 50 for 210 weeks, which measures artists' social media activity, fan engagement, weekly song plays. Huh. So it's how off. So it's like how off. It's how active they are on social media. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So it's like how much they post. Yeah. Volunteer armies translate posts, speeches, and lives in this real time for other fans. Oh, so like the fans translate them like like hypothetically in like English. There's fan accounts that like translate like posts and things for um like overseas fans, I guess. Army organizes fan projects and charity donations all over the world to spread BTS love and inspiration. Well, that's, that's really cool. I think it's really um that's really awesome that they can inspire people enough to want to do like charity events like charity donations like that, i think that's really that's really cool i think that that shows that they give a really positive mes message to people and they inspire fans of bts want to help other people in need i mean that's really i think that's really amazing i feel like that's and i feel like that's reflective of the artists themselves that that that, that the fans can be that positive to want to help people you know by donating to like charities and things i think that's really cool I think mean, that's a reflect. I think that's a reflection of Korean them as BTS artists. Donated one million dollars to Black Lives Matter. Oh wow! That's amazing. That's incredible. Wow. Known as the BTS Army, pledged to match their donation, raising another million dollars in less than twenty-four. Holy hours. shit! That's fucking inc wow. That's fucking incredible. Wow. Thinking, what do the boys love, and what are the things we can do in their name? Holy shit! Oh wait, oh, 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 this is Australia, oh, I'm Australian, oh, yo, yo, wait, yo, did they, wait, did they contribute to us, to koalas? Oh, oh my god, yeah, uh, yo. Be in total, in 2019, army during a total of, I, I can't do math, okay, please do the math for me, I'm dumb as fuck. 
what? So wait, two hundred. So what? Two hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars. Wait, two hundred ninety-six thousand two hundred twelve dollars, and I guess I'm yeah, in money. Forty-nine thousand trees. Seventeen hundred kilos of pet food, and two thousand two hundred units of blood. Oh, bl uh, I'm squeamish. Ah. And more. Damn. Yo, in, in, in Australia too. My. Doing my country too. Damn. Okay. Well, it's it's a, it's, a, it's really worldwide. Wow. The armies, I know. And the BTS. You all know, we're all strong. We'll find a way. We always have. If there's no way, let's draw the map. The whole map again. Armies at Wembley Stadium surprising BTS by singing their song Young Forever. Whoa! Oh wow. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. Oh, I like how the table gets taller. I, I found that funny. The table like gets taller. Like the table's gradually getting higher. One. Wow, d d d holy shit, wow, wow. The, like a, sm a small dorm, then like in a little dorm all the way to like a studio. Like probably like a studio with like a whole like production team behind them, that's insane. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's I guess the end of the video. That was a that was a really um, amazing video. I hope that I'm not um dumb and I actually retain some of this information and and I'm able to remember the names because I'm I'm dumb and I might just like not be able to remember it all off by heart at the moment. But after a while, um yeah, I think I I probably will. But um yeah, that was a that was a really cool video though. It was really um. Yeah, that was really insightful and um really informative um to get to know about the the members and get to know a bit about um BTS. But um yeah, so um I hope that you guys uh, did enjoy. Um I do apologize if I mispronounced um some things. I do apologize about that. But um yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, and also um if there's any videos or anything you'd recommend me to check out next time um about BTS. Maybe um more like even more like um stuff about the history of BTS. Making like make this into maybe we can do like a series like learning about bts and be like a series where like i learn about things about them but um yeah um so i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did enjoy this video please do consider like and subscribe and join the community around this channel i'm um, subscribing just let me know that you guys um enjoyed this video and like to see more bts videos i'm subscribing just let me know just tell me that you guys um enjoy and like to see more bts videos for me it does give me the you know the motivation to continue to make more um bts related videos so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching um thank you army for all the support they've been giving me and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye